Hi guys, been wasting my money again in the charity shops. Looks good, but I suspect it's going to be a pile of junk. £3.50. Radio controlled. No controller, transmitter. It does have the rechargeable battery. But of course, we've got no charger to go with it. So nickel metal hydride, 600 milliamp hour, 6 volts. So it's there, so I suppose that's good. Gigavolt, USB energy pack. Oh yeah, well, that's what it says on the pack. So, on, off, no idea what the charge state is. Mondo Spar, Mondo Motors, 63279, one tenth scale, RC Porsche, 918, Racing 1.6 volts batched code YE150936. Tires are hard plastic, they're not rubber. I expect this one may well have been sold as a drift car because they're not going to grip anything with any power. It is incredibly lightweight. This is thin plastic body shell, which is what caught my eye. I thought, if nothing else, that body shell would look nice sitting on some other chassis. Uh, yeah, okay, we got detachable wing mirrors. These look like they unclip. Yeah, they're I can't remember what you call that sort of washer, but it's got a spring loader on it. Don't know if we can get them off or not. Probably can. Body shell along the bottom's held in place with little plastic clips. A couple of them are missing. Let's just see if they'll pop out. Oh, looks like we've got to push something in the back, have we? I uh, don't know. I'll have a little fiddle, see if I can get them out. They look like they're split pins that spring out, so we've probably got to crush them somehow to get them out. Then we'll have a look inside, see what sort of receiver it's got. I'm guessing this is probably going to be another 2.4 gigahertz one. Although, I think I can see an aerial in there. In which case, it might be older than that. It might be a... 27 megahertz or something. Actually, if I turn it on, I could just try a 27. Just see if it's got any power in it at all. Right, it's not responding to 27. So we're going to have to get the cover off so we can have a look at the receiver. I expect with the original kit there was probably a little tool, a little fork or something for getting these off. But they came off okay. So, what have we got inside? Oh, I've left one. I thought I'd got them all. I'll just get in behind them. There they come. Right. <laughs> so there we are. We haven't got very much in there, have we? As I say, there's an aerial there. Which is unusual. 40 megahertz I can read through there. This reminds me quite a bit of that um, big yellow car I've got. 
can't remember what it's called. Um, that was, what's this? This was a tenth scale. The big yellow one must be one eighth scale because it's bigger than this. But it was similar lightweight construction with tiny little motors in it. That steering motor's tiny, isn't it? And I noticed the steering is very lightweight. These are very thin. Can you see how thin those are? Very thin plastic. That motor looks a little bit bigger. Certainly bigger than the front one. Bit of hot glue. Yeah, I'll go and get a, a 40 megahertz transmitter before we go any further, just in case it works. Obviously I'll have to charge that battery up as well. Well, it's not responding to my favourite 40 megahertz. Did I leave it switched on? Yes, I did leave it switched on. Okay, well, I'll stick a temporary battery in there. I think a 2S LiPo will go in there okay. I think I can get a 2S LiPo to fit on there. Make sure we connect it the right way around. Double check, yes. Can we get the power on? Yes, power on. Oh yes. That's even forwards and backwards the right way. And right and left the right way. Alright. Not centering very well. Okay, well, we might give that a go. I might just charge up that battery because I haven't charged that for a while, so I've no idea what state it's in. Oh, because I could charge this up at the same time, couldn't I? I'm not sure if I've got a connector that fits that. I'll have a look. Good job I checked. That one was getting a bit low. Uh, it tends to sit in my LiPo bag. You get used for odds and ends, but I tend to forget to charge it up. So that's going okay at the moment. And had a bit of luck, I found I'd got a connector that matches that other battery, or the original battery. So I've just soldered that onto a JST connector because that's what my um, charger holds or has. So I can use that to charge up that uh, nickel metal hydride battery. But I'll let that one finish charging first, and then we'll charge up the other one. Just notice the date on this battery. 2015. Well, we'll find out if it takes charge in a minute. I've swapped over to the hat camera, so we can actually try the car out. That says the battery's full. That's the nickel metal hydride one. So we'll give it a try to see what happens. I think I've said before, and with this close up with the hat camera, I've no idea whether it's actually filming or not, or at least filming in the right location. Okay, that looks like we've got that in the right place. Put that back down in there, push that up. Okay, that's in there, that's now on. So, 
So, switch. Transmitter on. Forwards. Backwards. Right. Left. Doesn't look like it returns to the middle very well. Yeah. Never mind. Obviously there'll be people asking me to put a brushless motor on this and convert it to hobby grade. To be honest, it shouldn't be that difficult. Should be able to stick a servo up there quite easily. And just an ordinary ESC to control the ordinary brushed ESC to control that motor. Not sure what size it is, but one of those little 20 amp brushed motor ESCs could probably handle it okay. Maybe. We'll think about it. We'll just see if we can get it running now. It looks like I put a bit of hot glue on the <laughs> wing mirrors to stop them falling off like that. probably do that in a minute, put a bit of hot glue on there. Um, I won't bother putting all those clips back on. In fact for test purposes I can probably get away with putting none of them on. Popping up. Let's push them on. leave the others off for now just so we can see if it runs so forwards backwards left <laughs> I think we're at the limit of the range for this particular transmitter there already oh yeah that's struggling isn't it Let's get a bit closer. Oh, are you kidding me? Or is that just that battery's died already? I mean, 2015, so it's four years old. Yeah, that's what that is. That's that nickel metal hydride batteries died already and that was fully charged well you know what that means don't you we'll try that little 2s so we could either use the adapter i'd made up I suppose we could do that. No, we can't because that's the other way around. That's for the charger. Okay, we'll just have to put it in the right way round. Red to red, black to black, so it's the right way round. Shove all that in there. Put the cover back on again. Come on, there you go. Right, that's in, switch it on, we're now running on a 
2S LiPo. What do I do with the transmitter? I'll put it down. Oh, there it is. <laughs> right, so, same again. Oh, that's a bit more go to it now, isn't it? We're spinning the wheels. Whoa, I'm going to break it like that. Yeah, it's not, that's not centering properly, the steering. So if you want it to be a drift car, we're okay. But we've no idea what it would have been like if that nickel metal hydride battery was okay. Uh, let's see if we can go the other way. there as well because this isn't the right controller uh, I think we can work that out baby born <laughs> but it is 40 megahertz see the wheels aren't centering. They're all right if I go left, but if I go right, they're sticking. I've got to say, I do rather like the look of this one. Now, I could pretend that I did that on purpose, couldn't I? Going through the leg of the chair. But I didn't. That does look like it's supposed to be a drift car though, doesn't that? With those hard tyres. a bit of a problem with it not centering properly as well. And the range is definitely down.
can't tell what it would have been like with the 6 volt um, nickel metal hydride battery because that just died straight away, lost its power. There's definitely a problem with it not the steering not centering properly. Yeah, it's not. I, mean, I expect I could try lubricating things, but that's not good. Uh, definite lack, lack of grip on this sort of surface. We're running it on a 2S LiPo and it's surviving so far, but I wouldn't be surprised if I burn out the receiver. And we've got very short range. I mean, we're talking five meters maximum going up and down there before it starts coughing and spluttering. So the obvious thing to do would be to swap it out to full hobby grade radio control, wouldn't it? Even if I don't change the motor and just run it on a little 20 amp ESC, put a servo on the front, proper radio control servo to give us proportional steering. It might be a nice car. And like I said, I do like the look of it. I think that looks lovely. Porsche 918 Spider. Yeah. A bit of hot glue on there to hold the wing mirrors in place. Stop them waving around. I think that might look, look nice. It would look better with that body shell on a proper hobby grade chassis but I don't do proper hobby grade I do mucking about with toy grade so that's what we we'll probably do I'll probably upgrade it hobby grade and uh, have some fun with it in fact I'm thinking in my head at this moment I upgraded um, what was his name? Lightning McQueen, one of those um, Disney Pixar toys. Upgraded that to hobby grade, and although it was fun, it really wasn't as good as I was hoping. So I might pinch the bits out of that and stick it in here. This is pretty lightweight for for what it, for the size it is. It's very lightweight because it's just this thin plastic um, body shell. It wouldn't surprise me if proper hobby grade racers would like to buy that just for the shell, especially at the price I paid three pound fifty. I bet you couldn't get a shell like that for three pound fifty. Yeah, nice one. Junk if you didn't happen to have the right transmitter to go with it, but it matched up with one of my 40 megahertz transmitters and it works. Uh, yeah, that's the dining table. Believe it or not, my wife is not particularly happy with me at the moment. Since I've stopped doing the uh, rubber band powered car thing on that channel. I've stopped doing that at the moment. All of this really ought to get put away. Mm. We'll think about that. Oh, well, I've got to finish messing about with this thing. I'm pretty sure what I'll do with this is make it hobby grade. I know I'm rambling on a bit. I've finished that video. But I do happen to have a nice Metal Gear servo there. But I can replace that bit of um, uh, uh, toy grade stuff and I could probably put a, a similar little 20 amp ESC on there to drive these motors we could make that hobby grade fairly easily it's still junk as far as a real rock crawler goes but I think if it was hobby grade 
controls on it, at least you'd have proportional fa um, faster and slower and proportional steering. So that might be a little project. That'll do. Had a bit of luck. I found I actually had one of these matching connectors. Must have taken it out of another car. So I've just put an adapter on that. So, in fact, I just looked at that. I've put the wrong type of adapter on there. Four. Right, well, I'll re resolder that. Yeah, that's the female, not the male. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.